DRC. M23 rebels declare ceasefire to dialogue with Congolese government. This article is taken from the Uganda newspaper, The Observer. M23 rebels have declared a unilateral ceasefire to pave way for dialogue with the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. This comes after a week of heavy fighting between the rebels and government troops in Rusuru territory, North Kivu province, about three kilometers to the main border of Uganda, DRC. The rebels captured three military positions in Chanzu, Runyoni, and Diza, Rusuru territory. The fighting claimed the lives of four rebels and Congolese soldiers at Murunjinga and Mukiharo, Bunagana. The Congolese soldiers took another 10 rebels captive, according to a security source in Rusuru. Now, the rebels have declared a ceasefire in a statement signed by their spokesperson, Willie Goma, saying they are ready to continue talks with Kinshasa with a view to a peaceful settlement of the conflict. M23 says that their troops have withdrawn from the combat zone to avoid new confrontations with the Congolese army. However, the rebels say they are on high alert and will back once attacked. The military tension observed in recent days in the territory of Rusuru is due to the offensive initiative of the FARDC against which the Congolese Revolutionary Army, ARC, has opposed an appropriate defensive strategy. The ARC units withdrew from the conquered spaces to occupy defensive positions to widen the zone, which separates them from the AF. ARDC in order to avoid any new confrontation. This will make it easier to identify which side will take the initiative in the war, reads the statement in the French language. Our reporter was unable to get a comment from the Congolese military. Traffic between the border city of Bunagana and the capital of Rusuru territory, as well as social Socioeconomic activities have resumed normally. Schools, markets, and higher institutes of Rusuru have also reopened. The population which fled the confrontation in the peripheral villages of Shanzu and Runyoni have also returned, according to the local authorities there.